Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video. Uh, a much needed update on Floki. All right, we're going to do a full update. Floki itself has been massively bullish in the last, uh, well, what is it? In the last, uh, it's, it's been a while, like since the, since the 13th of May. So for the last two weeks, we've been bullish. Uh, but earlier this morning, when we actually saw some bullish momentum return into the markets, and uh, not necessarily from Bitcoin, but in general, the altcoin market was relatively bullish. And what we saw is that meme coins started to perform very, very well again. And Floki was topping the charts. Now, you can also see that that Ladies was performing, Bonk was performing, with Pepe, all doing good. Uh, but Floki was the strongest. Um, which was also, I mean, I, I, I tweeted about Floki not too long ago. There's quite a lot of things going on in the, in the Floki and token ecosystem. Uh, I was looking at it earlier th this weekend and I, I said something like this. So so this we did, right? But I was a bit early because the, the we got this breakout, which I talked about. But we also retraced back into uh, 22,500. So I would say the, the breakout setup was a little bit premature. But if you set the stop loss correctly here, um, you would have still made a profit, all right? Because if you set the stop loss at like 22,000, which would still be like a, a, two, a, a risk reward of two, um, would have been a great trade. But all right, right now, um, I do have some problems with Floki, and that is that I, I think we're bullish, all right? I, I would be a fool to say that Floki is not bullish right now, because we both have a four-hour trend, which is bullish, and maybe even a daily trend since this uh, bottom at the, the 14th of April. Um, however, usually when we get a momentous move like this, uh, so, so when you look back, for example, right here, 14th of May, momentous, drop down. Uh, then also last week, momentum dropped down. And what you see here is that Floki, if you look at the technical levels, um, you have this key level here, which is between 27,000 and 25,600. And we're in the middle of that, all right? We closed above 25,700, but we did not close above 27,000. Um, so that's the that's the problem. And that is that Floki is, is very bullish right now, but it's it's hard to say whether this bullish momentum uh, will continue and that will continue with a, a parabolic rally. So that would be breaking above 27,000 and a move up to 30,000. So that's achieving the all-time high again. Um, <laughs> hard to find words sometimes. Or if we drop down below 25,500 here, I would say that Floki will stay bullish unless Bitcoin crashes. But I would say that Floki stays bullish, but then it, it becomes a little bit more likely that we'll get some sort of a consolidation right here. So let me find uh, let, let me find the relevant uh, support level real quick. So that will do something like this, right? So, so these are the two scenarios, either a, a very quick con uh, co um, co continuation. Wow. Um, continuation is something like this or a bearish breakout here and then a brief consolidation, maybe a drop down and then a continuation later. Um, but the continuation, I think, is most likely, at least, like I said, as long as Bitcoin and Ethereum stays relatively bullish. But now uh, we're just waiting for which one of these scenarios is more, more likely. And I'll make it very easy for you. Just wait for the confirmation. All right. Right now, like I said, 27,000 and 25,700 are the two most important key levels. Wait for one of those two levels to break. All right. If we break above 27,000, um, we'll, we'll get up to those all-time highs before you know it. If we break down below 25,700, it's more likely we'll get a bit of a drop, consolidation, and then a continuation. So bullish either way, but the scenario in which we'll, we'll continue to go higher um, depends very much on what we do in the, in, in the next couple of hours, I would say, and the next 24 hours in general. Uh, so those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.